I'm talking of which. There was this king sitting in his garden all alone when his brother in his ear pulled a little bit of henbane, sold his brother's crown and his money and his widow, but the dead king walked and got his son and said, hey, listen, kiddo, I've been killed and it's your duty to take revenge on Claudius, kill him quick and clean and tell the nation what a fraud he is. The kid said, right, I'll do it, but I'll have to do it crafty so that no one will suspect me. Oh, kid, I'm the time of dafty. So, with all except Horatio, and he counts him as a friend, Hamlet, that's the kid, he keeps on his round the bend, and because he isn't ready for obligatory killing, he tries to make the king think that he's tuppence off the shilling, takes a rise out of Polonius, treats poor Ophelia vile, tells Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, and marks a bloody jail, then a group of travelling actors like 784 arrive to do a special one-night gig in Elsinore. Hamlet, Hamlet, loves his mommy. Hamlet, Hamlet, acting balmy. Hamlet, Hamlet, hesitating, wonders if the goats are cheat, and that is why he's waiting. So, Hamlet wrote a scene for the players to enact, so Horatio and he could watch and see if Claudius cracked. Well, the play was called The Mouse Trap. Not the one that's running now. And sure enough, the king walked out before the play was through. Now Hamlet's got the proof his uncle gave his dad the dose. The only problem being now that Claudius knows he knows. So while Hamlet tells his mother her new husband's not a fit one, Uncle Claude puts out a contract with the English king as hitman. And when Hamlet killed Polonius, the concealed corpus delecti was the king's excuse to send him for an English hemp and necktie with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern to make quite sure he got there, but Hamlet jumped the boat and put the finger straight on that pair. When Laertes heard his dad had been stabbed in the arras, he came running back to Elsinore, too sweet, hot foot from Paris, and Ophelia with her dad killed by the man she was to marry after saying it with flowers she committed Harry Carey. Hamlet, Hamlet, no messing. Hamlet, Hamlet, learned his lesson. Hamlet, Hamlet, your crust convinced him that men, good or bad, at last must come to dust. Then Laertes lost his place and was demanding retribution. The king said, keep your head and I'll provide you a solution. So he arranged a sword fight for the interested parties with a blunted sword for Hamlet and a sharp one for Laertes. To make double sure the old belt and braces lying, he fixed a poison sword tip and a poison cup of wine. Well, the poison sword got Hamlet, but Laertes went and muffed it because he got stabbed himself and he confessed before he snuffed it. Then Hamlet's mummy drank the wine, and as her face was turning blue, Hamlet said, I believe the king's a baddie through and through. Incestuous, murderous, damned Dane, he said to be precise, and made up for hesitating once by killing Claudius twice, because he stabbed him with a knife, then forced the wine between his lips, he said, the rest is silence. That was Hamlet at his chips. They fired a volley over him that shook the topmost rafter and fought in brass knee deep in Danes, lived happy ever after. Hamlet, Hamlet, ain't it gory? Hamlet, Hamlet, end of story. Hamlet, Hamlet, I'm on my way. If you thought that was confusing, read that bloody play. <laughs>